get started. Here we go. I'm not banging the gavel. I'm not the mayor. I won't. I won't. I have a loud enough voice. All right, here's what happened. There we go. And I shall. Facebook okay. is out. Or, or. Oh, darn. I got a haircut. Anyways, yeah. I will work through that as we get started. So we'll call 6 p.m. Oh, there we go. Now it's back. That's weird. Solar flare. <laughs> What's that? Solar flare. I know. All right, the we call to order 6 p.m. The. June 29th, 2022, Pool and Recreation Center Steering Committee. Uh, call the roll. Matt Sam. Present. Chris Evans. Here. Sean Miller. Corey Gibson. Here. Danny Park. Here. Danny Park. There you go. <laughs> Roger Stewart. Here. Andy Quad. Here. Melissa Fairbach. Janet O'Donnell. Here. Blake Payson. Here. Neil Owings. Here. I am here. Uh, Richard Ranzo. Perfect. All right, moving right along to the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, moving right along to item number four, approval of the agenda. Make a motion to approve the agenda as presented. Second. Motion by Stam, seconded by Evans to approve the agenda as presented. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. All right, moving on to item number five, approval of minutes. Uh, attached in your packets there will be the uh, the minutes from June 1st and June 15th committee meeting. Second. Motion by Parks, seconded by Stewart. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Oppose, same sign. Okay, well, as you can't see, because I don't know why that's not working, I'll figure that out in a minute. Um, we have updated sales tax revenue numbers uh, that we have collected. Uh, so in June, uh, June 27th, uh, we had just received, actually, uh, our disbursement. Of course, this is two months previous. Uh, that amount was 79100 and five dollars again 79,105 that is the second highest uh, that we have collected to date uh, and so in December uh, of last year we we had collected 82,000 so this one was 79 so looking good coming in for revenue uh, total so far we have collected to date uh, eight hundred and seventy thousand nine hundred fifty one dollars and forty four cents uh, at the same time, we were projecting to collect $466,662, so we are trending in the right way. Richard, do you have an agenda packet? Well, I'll, I'll grab one. Perfect. All right, any questions on that? All right, moving right along to new business, and we are going to discuss uh, the aquatic tours, positive and negatives, Going to kind of lump all the new business really kind of into uh, into now kind of SJCF and and uh, McCown Gordon and just kind of let them run with it. And so uh, they do have a PowerPoint that I hope to bring up. So Terry, if you want to go ahead and get started, and I will get this up one way or another.
while we're getting the PowerPoint up, uh, I think our team today, what we would love to accomplish, and this is all over, is for you, uh, you guys to look at our priority list and put together, which is really based on what we've had before, uh, with all of us together, as well as what we learned and saw on Friday. We've acted pretty quickly to assemble a list, and we'd love to have you guys look at that list, give us feedback, and hopefully at the end of the meeting tonight, give us some sort of approval to move forward into what it more of a design phase right now. It's just been kind of throwing ideas out, exploring. We'd like to really tackle this and start getting work so we can get the project done on time. So I think the priorities are in line with what you guys mentioned before. And, and so I, I hope there's no surprises, but we're going to present those to you tonight. Um, like Terry said, said uh, we'll talk a little bit about what we learned and saw at the pool tour. We'll look at the priority list. Uh, we'll have a graphic of what the pool plan looks like, and that way you guys can see uh, graphically uh, where the priorities land, and then uh, John Gordon will look at the budget a little bit, real simple, very straightforward, hopefully that will help you make a decision, and then uh, Terry will follow up with the kind of next steps on the on the aquatics and fitness. So that's kind of the play of the land anyway. However, uh, we have photos of uh, all the, the, the trips we just took. Um, Friday to a most of you. Some of you did not. And we have some great images <laughs> of the six places we went to, uh, which are evergreen. And I'm gonna, those are all going to be in order of, of how we went on the trip. Uh, we're going to quickly walk through those, show some real quick images of the features of each one. Um, not really, I took like 300 pictures, so um, we're only going to look at like 40. Um, so we're going to look at the Evergreen, Orchard Park, Harvest Park, Alley Park, Linwood, and then Edgewood. And uh, were you the, able to get some of the previous pictures of what, like the pool? Yes. Looks, okay. Yeah, actually, at the beginning of each, the first slide of each one is a okay. Is a cool. Here, That's a uh, great side by side. So pretty telling. I think most of them take with drones. Um, really understand. So nice. Uh, I get the size. Man, these pictures are great. <laughs> um, they're coming. They're coming. <laughs> Look at Technology is wonderful. We are th there. <laughs> no, we're not. I'm fine. So here, one of the things that I really uh, got a lot of value out of that visit was a little bit later in the day. That's a good point. The last two we went to Linwood and Edgemore were more of a linear type uh, splash pad that had uh, features uh, at the ends and in the middle, and kind of a long linear path that the uh, um, kind of the water traveled through. And, uh, hey. Oh, <laughs> I found out. Don't, don't praise from, him yet. He's not there yet. I like that. <laughs> it gets <laughs> I mean, yeah. what I was picturing the water park to have, kids didn't play on that stuff. They were on just the basic stuff, the hills and the little spray up things, not the big things. Yeah. Now you can praise him. Okay. So do they. So Evergreen Park, <clears throat> this is a before and after. Uh, you can see the, uh, uh, um, and Brian can chime in here too, but uh, uh, mainly is a splash park um, with some features. Uh, a, a main feature at one end is the Mesoamerican theme. Mm -hmm. sure. nice this is one of the things where it's a lot of communication. Sure. Um, I mean, this area, there's a lot of similar around with other architecture, other buildings. So it really kind of fits in with the theme of this neighborhood. I really, really enjoy it. What I'd like to point out is some stained concrete. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, some imaging that was on there. And then a major water feature at the end. Also a dry feature uh, was off to the side. And then there was some areas of uh, shade um, 
And this is a, actually a, an existing shade structure here, but we did have oh. some new shade structure. Yep. You guys can chime in any time. Uh, those of you who are going to. Oh, shoot. Sure. What did I do? Oh, it's on. They look great over here. Yeah. <laughs> Some of it was. That was part of the art feature that was um, required by budget. Uh, some of them were just you know, like the design of the, of the splash pad. You know, that's kind of aesthetics and art. So, merit. That was just part of the project as well. And so, we're going to go quickly through these. Uh, this is Orchard Park. Uh, as you can see, it uh, was an uh, existing spot that uh, was added onto um, around it. Uh, we have a, an ADA style uh, ramp that comes down through there. Uh, the grant, the, the guttering shown on the right slide is more of a replacement gutter. The whole gutter is taken out and a new one put in. Uh, there's some turf berming uh, and some shade structure. We show two different types of shade, shade structures here. The yellow is more of a um, singular uh, post and then the other, uh, the uh, orange one is more of a multi-post. Then we also have this art artwork that kind of meanders its way through. Harvest Park uh, has, as you can see, the, the beginning and, and the end over there, before and after, a large berm on the uh, down sheet. So I don't know which direction it is, but so. Uh, and then a couple of structures added, a uh, big play feature added. Um, it was really interesting to really pull that fence line away from the mm -hmm. pool. It's one thing that we, a lot of our pools, the fence sites are right there next to the pool. And that was the, I think Harvest one of the best. That, um, Images that show how you can really pull the fence line out, it can really make something pop and really makes it look more useful for your patrons. Was, was that grassy area? Was that like so? The original that was on the first picture or on the. the no, on the picture? second picture. It's, it's, it's turf. Oh, uh, it's turf? Did you see a lot of people on that? Absolutely. They, they love it. Okay. Right there. Yeah. So this image would show a built-in uh, ADA ramp that's built into the into the pool itself, and then a gutter that uh, I would say would resemble something more like what you're looking at. It would be a drop-in uh, PVC gutter. Oh, I want to point out also uh, the shade structure that's in the middle of the pool. I think is a good feature. Um, we'll get to that point. Uh, a couple different straight structures. Uh, one that's more rect rectangular, and then there's a couple of the other ones are uh, singular post. Uh, Lord, a large uh, slide, and then that berm area you were discussing. I think turf was the artificial turf was kind of the preferred. Uh, we did see some areas in some of these that had grass that were kind of brown. Um, and of course, you have to get into mow those, uh, but it's probably more of a, a budgetary issue. Uh, Alley Park, quite an expansion there. What is that red circle? It's kind of just a little gathering place. You see, there's a tree that's under there. Yeah. Find the trees in the grove, provide natural shade in that area. People like to put their, you know, see where they sit down. And the concrete? Something that's concrete. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Concrete. Nice picture of Todd. Um, that's also got some guttering, similar to what uh, you would be looking at. There's also one of the uh, ADA uh, lifts that might be added. Uh, also some shade structures off to the right there. Uh, we also, that one also had some uh, raised seating areas, which I think everybody kind of liked. Uh, it also is turf with uh, the concrete raised areas. And also a, uh, an art uh, wall that's put in. And as you mentioned, Brian, it was that, that tree that's in the middle of, the, of that circular area. I, I was curious, what kind of tree is that? What's the life expect, uh, expectancy of that? And then is it gonna pitch any of that concrete or is it a tree that goes straight down with its roots? I need to double check to see exactly what tree that was. It is one that was designed though that it's not gonna affect the concrete where it's at. It is gonna get a little bit wider, but not too much to which definitely can go down. <coughs> it does kind of sprout more from all the imagery that we saw and how they were kind of planning it from the Team. Yeah, it was going to be one that was going to kind of be able to do that without causing a lot of issues. Now, 
60, 75 years from now, then maybe that's going to change a little bit. But then we're probably looking at doing something different at that location as well. So. Roger, what country is that? Thanks, Perm. Thanks, Elm. 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 Lace Park. Perfect. Yeah, I was teeing you up for it to oh, know sorry. what it was because I didn't. One, one thing that I know that was mentioned a lot about that wall, it's from an operation standpoint, is during swim meets, this is our swim meet um, location that uh, Wichita uses quite a bit. And so we would actually let patrons come in and sit on that wall so they could get a much closer view of their swimmers. And then you know, they would have to exit, you know, when their kids are coming over. But I know that was something that was mentioned during the tour by several members that might be something kind of interesting to kind of help out the, the viewing right there up and close to the action. Uh, they did have a, a splash pad feature. However, I apologize, I did not get a good picture of that. Uh, however, on the right side there, it does show one of the splash features, splash uh, jets that uh, also has drainage as well as uh, RGB uh, colored lights that uh, uh, LED. Looks pretty nice. And then that uh, turtle feature that I'm not sure anybody probably what that was. Brian yeah. picked that out, right? Uh, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> are these splash pads open in the evenings like you said it has lights on it so are they something that you can like in the evenings you see or is it the ones that are splash pads that are just splash pads they're open until eight o'clock that one that's there at the pool it's something that's open if they have a night swim if they have a movie, oh, okay if that okay goes on, yes. so linwood park was more of an l-shaped uh pool and is now more of a linear type pool with like I was discussing, they had water features on the two ends and one in the middle. Uh, and then the water kind of travels down that, uh, that blue path there. Uh, and the middle is kind of a, 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 a wagon wheel. Um, kids love that. They were all over it. Um, and there's some other water features there on, on each end, more of a tree type look to them. The kids were not there, but I'm sure they are there at some point. Uh, on the left, it shows some big balls that the kids can climb on. I think there was supposed to be kind of a spray coming out of those, but uh, that uh, wasn't incorporated. But uh, the kids are climbing all over those things. Uh, they're not hard, they're very spongy. Uh, and then the, the picture on the right shows that the device that you go up and hit to start the timer, a uh, 15 minute timer. And it was interesting when, when the water shut off, the kids all ran over there and pushed the button again. So. Kind of a nice Again, some more shade. Uh, lots of shade at all these, which is, which is really nice. And then on the right shows some natural planting and some uh, mulch that, that uh, they had at that. That's one thing that, at least I was, I don't know about everybody else, I was shocked to see the how much rock, mulch, I mean, all that stuff is inside the fence now. <laughs> like, hmm by the pool where, where typically it's just all concrete. And that's just what I've been accustomed to seeing. Even in newer splash pads, I haven't seen as much rock and mulch, and, you know, actual you know, natural things like that as close to the water um, as I did in the Wichita one. So it was interesting to see that. You think it's not normal. Say, has that been a problem with kids throwing the rocks and the mulch and the into the splash pad it's area? location-based issue. Okay. I'd say most of the time, no. Okay. There's there's a there's an occasional issue. I did see a bit of vandalism at one of the. Yeah. One of the uh, Edgemore, the last last place we went, uh, it's a rectilinear um, pool that was is now a very long linear uh, splash pad. Now that one's about the size of ours, correct? It, it was a 50 meter. So as we walk in on the left side, there's a, a shade structure, um, some seating. Splashing, uh, the big long, big barge uh, limestone blocks. And in the right, kind of shows. Uh, I should look down to the right. There was a splay place feature sorry, at the end that the kids were all over. Um, and then on the right shows a, a area where you could rent. Uh, it's fenced off. There's no water there. It's all dry, but it does have uh, shade. That was actually my favorite part. Uh, seem very low maintenance too with the rock being and the mulch being further away from the water structures first the one that is the second to last one was kind of incorporated into all of that it just seemed like a lot of maintenance with the 
mulch blowing into the little fake river and things of that nature. And I think, Brian, that's what I about too. So. Edgemore's, or uh, the last one, which one's that again? Edgemore. Yeah, yeah Edgemore's my favorite. And honestly, uh, we can't do all of this uh, at Lions just yet. So I think the conversation at the end of the day was kind of tailored to what can we afford? Uh, what do we want to do now? What do we want to put off for later? How much money do we want to save now for the, the rec facility? Um, so I think those are all discussions we need to have. What things cost, what you like, what do you want to put in Lions Park now? And so we have um, an image that would spark discussion. Um, and so we're talking about some priorities. Uh, we know that your gutter system needs to be looked at. Uh, we know that the pool surface probably needs to be sandblasted and repainted. And that's more of kind of an issue, a, a maintenance issue that you can take care of every year. Uh, we know that piping, filters, and some pumps, you know, are showing some age and maybe some upgrades need to be taken. Uh, the waiting pool, we talked about maybe removing that and putting in some kind of a splash pad there. That's in the lower left-hand corner. Um, we talked about maybe uh, some shade structures, some additional ones up along the north. Now, these are all things that we talked about as we're walking through, so there's nothing, nothing set in stone here. So these are just items to, to spark discussion. But we did talk about maybe extending that area off to the north, <coughs> up to the sidewalk, up to the parking area. Um, and then adding some shade structures along there that would be very easy to do along with some new fencing that would be incorporated into this facility. Maybe brighten up the, the other uh, existing buildings that are there with some fresh paint. That would be a very cost effective, or would cost much to do that. It would have a nice big impact on that. Um, some new lighting of the whole facility. Uh, sound, I think you're, you're right now you're with the one little speaker. Uh, so sound would be good, upgrade that. And then accessibility, not only in the pool, um, accessibility to the pool, but also in the buildings. There's, there's a couple of things we need to look at there. So any reaction that you might have to this plan? What's the purple? The no purple is a shade, shade structure. Shade? We're sitting at, where, where can we incorporate like some benches or some of that con those concrete walls? Up on that north end there could be... Okay. So like that kind of darker gray color would be a okay. bench. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is anytime you see a hard line plan like this, I think the natural ones can be all this is on. It's really a diagram. It's a more fun diagram. So you have a pretty good schedule for the central one. So that's not black here. Do you incorporate something like it or has that clay area? Like, like the, the, the big structure? The, the, yeah, the one at the end there, the end floor, the end clay area. The bucket dogs. And all, yeah. <clears throat> I, def I would defer to Jeff on if there's enough room. We may have to look at it expanding a little bit. I think there would be enough room. That structure is magic for that. I think what we're showing this, just kind of playing that a little further, is that little oval shape piece there that takes the place of the waiting pool. We're thinking maybe five or six jets that come up out of the ground just to kind of get. Get the thing started. You know, let's let's make a improvement to the pool area, and then this could be the framework for a whole new thing in the future. But that, well, I just wanted because I know, like, say, stay away from and it's a smaller kids and just plus whatever we do over there. Where's the one with the space turtle or whatever that was? Alien. Yeah. Uh, pull that one up. Uh, you, you know, with those, you, you said that those are really, um, you know, there's some more cost effective options too, but, but that area gets used a lot. It does. 
uh, and, and those just ground sprays, you know, for now. Um, you, you know, and I think that in that in that diagram that you showed, if we can make sure that, that there's a fence, so you know, we can have it isolated, so we can have that open, you know, longer a uh, longer season than just the pool, uh, and then also be able to. I think Blake wants to open it and you know have it have it open you know, earlier, of course. Uh, then the pool opens, but then also you know, later too in some days, and then be able to open it to the public, but not have to go through the pool and vice versa. So that's a that's a big thing that we need to make sure. Uh, How does that, that work discuss. with the pool? How does that work with kids who are in the pool using that particular thing? So then, the then when the pool's open, then then you pay and you can use the splash pad. When the pool's closed, then that splash pad gate opens and it's free. There's also a little bit of or one of your walls with the fence on top of it or something. You, know, you guys had a tremendous amount of walls and the designs, which I thought were a great way to, to move people where you wanted them yeah, to yeah. in a unique way versus just a, you know. Just the fence yeah, or yeah. the wall. Mm -hmm. yeah. Talk more about the seating. Are you guys thinking, what's, what do you think of the fixed and permanent seating versus the something that's going to have a preference? I like the one with the rock wall, there's natural. There's kind of a two tiered moon. Oh, not the two tiered one? No, the two tiered one. I like that personally, but kind of blended well. Even big boulders like that, you know, something can be moved down the road, maybe. Yeah, that one. Would there be enough room off to the north end to put something like that? I mean, get well, the slope. Yeah, stuff? I think you could even get rid of the, the, I mean, I would use all the area you have on the north side, you know, even take out the, the sidewalk, you know, and put it right up against the parking lot or, you know, just, but yeah have something like that where it's more maybe just undulating because i our pool right now it's just it's square and it's ugly but having something like this would be really i'm just i'm just wondering if you can actually take out the part the, the sidewalk if that's ada compliant you can actually do that well and from a safety standpoint I, you really don't want people wandering through the yeah. parking lot to get to that parking lot so tight. I wouldn't want. I mean, it's, well, it's whatever. Yeah. You, you, yeah. you can fix that somehow. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm just saying, utilize everything you have there. Well, I if mean, that's the case, then why can't you just bump it to the east a little bit? I mean, if you're talking about using extra space, there's extra space right there. The only thing there is those pump houses, and then that little that little pit right there where the lane lines are. Well, I think it might be good for the purpose of making it for the next time we come out. So let's say we're just kind of sure we you know, our next step would be able to find this better. Yeah. You know what character and this is? Yep. Geometry, that's about it. So I think it would be a very unique business and not be blocky. I think you might be surprised at how much added concrete area. I want to say something like 35 feet now. So I'm going to have a range that's not going to be able to get out of concrete, which I think is a lot of people. Well, and I even think you could go even to the south. Well, um, yeah, I think it has various points. Yeah, there's you know, space. Could be all things on this. So we draw something and then you guys just decide we love it, but maybe it gets to be burned or something. Else. Because it, well, if you put like the seating area to the north, it kind of limits, well, where can people just sit and enjoy? Well, if you move all that area to the south, I mean, you open that up quite a bit and you could have, you know, all sorts of uh, structures and shades and things like that where people could just lay out if they want. And I don't understand why that little bump is right there where the, you know, the diving boards and then they just bumped it in. It's like, why didn't they just take it straight across? What was the point of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, pull it up all the way south to the library. <laughs> you know, all the room you want, just no money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> but, 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 yeah, I mean, you know, because we're not, uh, you know, we don't have to keep any of those things to the side, all the way to the sidewalk you yeah. see on there. And that's a, that's a pretty big space. 
Um, so, absolutely. Yeah, I agree I with you. I agree that you can sidewalk with these guys. I, I think if you don't have it, the cars are going to come right up the Yeah. Uh, well, I'm just saying let's utilize as much space there as we can. Now, one of the pools that we went to, didn't somebody mention to me, I can't, I don't remember seeing it myself, but there were, there were, there were aluminum bleachers mm. or something that. It was in the football field next to the pool. We were leaving Alley, maybe. No, but was that was there a football field north of the pool? Literally. Okay. And there was just like four or five bleacher seats down there for the football field it's like you know is that cheaper than doing the dirt and the rocks and the artificial turf that's i mean it's definitely an option it's definitely something that also can be real programmed for other locations and used for other spots like, you know it's not just for swim meets you can use it for your other programs throughout the world you could pour a pad on the east side over there and you know, put over there during your swim meets because you have how many five a year um we have usually three home three home so i mean you know, for three times a year, you know, for additional seating that might help. Or a pad and have the fence go around it. And then, you know, when it's sitting there, you can sit in your house. So tell me a little bit, since we really were looking for some approval on the general priorities, are there any priorities that you guys see on that list that are just like, okay, we're pretty much right on that? I think okay. you're, I think you're good. Okay, we really want to turn these guys loose um, and start going. And we can definitely stretch this back to where we. Okay, this will, this that's good. That will be I, good. I have a question on on lighting. <laughs> what, what what's your question what's on light? Because like, I mean it's lit. I mean, that, that thing is... Are you talking pretty, underwater or... Right. Are you above? talking about... That's, that was my question. Yeah, because <laughs> overhead lighting, and there's a different lighting. Is there not? I mean, there's a lot of lighting. I think there's a lot of lighting there. I, yeah. I can see that thing over here. I mean, it glows. Some well, and I mean, you can, bit. Yeah. you can buy... I'm sorry to say this, but you can buy um, solar lights from Amazon and slap them suckers up there. I got three of them in my backyard. Nothing is lit up like they. <laughs> but but I, mean, I, I guess define lighting. What do you guys do? Um, night swims, what, a couple times twice, a year? Twice. So, I mean, really. And you don't feel there was adequate lighting for your night swims? I feel like it was pretty good. I, I think in water lights is, we, every once in a while we have issues. We have those. some issues. That's what it is. It's, yeah. yeah. Water light. Mitch was gracious enough, and, and Brent was to uh, get some of the things. Spreadsheet. Uh, so the way it works is just based on past experience. We have kind of a high range and a low range. Obviously, there's there's going to be uh, things that are in the ground that we don't know what's there. Our our uh, best educated guess at what a low or a high range can be. So the way this spreadsheet works is if we have a, an X in here, it'll calculate, and if it's not, it takes it out. So uh, we have uh, gone through control. this and kind of taken the liberty of based on the feedback that we got from our tours. And so I'm, if it's all right, I'm, I'm just going to kind of start with the top. Do that a little bit. Yeah, zoom out just a bit if you can. Hard to read. All right. 
So starting off, we know that the whole placement and the other is to do something. We're estimating that's between seventy-five and one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. The other one, it's a the sandblast and, and removing the, the paint and putting that down bare concrete. It's seventy-five thousand dollars to do that. As far as the joints falling, we know that there's going to be something, but it is that sort of thing. So that one right now, um, that's one that, that is still highly unknown. Uh, this one replacing the, the drain grades, are, is that something that's already been? I didn't think it was, from what we looked at the plans, let's say it was done back with the PGB upgrades. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to double verify, but it looks like they possibly have expired and they need to be mm -hmm. replaced. Okay. We're going to leave that one on there. It's not a big expense. That's compliant. Um, the replacement of the self priming pump and the strainer. The, the strainer, that's something that is really convenient because it's got the plexiglass glass top. You can look down and you can see if the, that strainer is up to shut down the system. Trying to maximize the budget. Um, it's not a requirement, it's definitely something that you can look at. Put that in here, but we'd also ask to consider. That would be a consideration, and if not, we would get that as part of the project. But right for the purposes of this discussion, have that one in there. That one, of course, can be changed really easily. Filter upgrade, Brian. We, we do know that full, kind of full slow recirculation rate, what we'd like to see. Um, there's some stuff that some of Jeff I want to possibly do to possibly improve that. You know, it could be something as simple as looking at how we can get more flow going. It could be something to look at the filter. So it's just it's a priced option. It's not that it's something that we're just saying it has to be done. It's just something that we would have on the table to discuss. Well, I'm here. Same thing with the placing with the alternate type of pouring heat system. Um, ADA pool access would be installing two of those lifts we saw, uh, and then also a set of portable steps. Kind of like that ramp you guys already have. Yeah. Okay. Right, Brian. Yes. On the lifts, I seen one lift had wheels on it. One of the parks, and the other one didn't. What was the story on that? So ADA um, rules change over time, and the one that was on the wheels that you pull out and you put, that's actually no longer allowed. So now it's actually bolted on the oh, side. Okay. okay. So when you look at those, it's much better to go with the other one you saw that's already bolted on the side. That's actually a much better model. Are we saying that the stairs that they have now are not allowed or not technically? The incline's a little steep on them. So, I mean, we could 
we can verify from just the eye test, though. I don't think it's, I don't think it's allowed. The other two options that we've looked at were better use other uh, other places. The below grade pipings. With the condition of the PCs. <laughs> um, the new water slide that's that's one market that's I believe the ones that, that we saw were six to five thousand dollars, but <laughs> uh, there's typically with those there's oh, okay. like that to go along with the, uh, yeah, no, we don't need that. the foundation. So it's something we used to just see. Same thing on the splash pad, those those little slide the big fiberglass that was you know, with the big pump to pull down the cheaper versions you're talking about that's more of like the drop slide where okay. it's just the one little tower the stair ladders go up and it's just the little funnel that's just going to drop some of the water or like Uber at orchard which is like a one little funnel very similar to what's kind of already there just a little bit more basic where like the only difference was these were stairs instead of platforms you transform up yeah there there could actually be a, a lower range on those floors so is there a way to keep one of our slides? Like, I don't know, the green one doesn't seem terrible. It's that twisty one that's so god awful. It's like, what's awful about it? Just when you, you go around get and go stuck in it, it. like, you, you know, <laughs> it's, it's not a fun slide, but like the green one's not terrible. And it's because, oh, could you like put stairs on that one? And I don't know. Oh, I don't know. If we're just talking about slides, we're just. We're, we're talking about getting new slides or different uh, can we pay them? Sorry. <laughs> I'll draw some spray paint. Our project. No. But, but, but no, I mean, in, in all seriousness, though, I, I mean, I think with the water slide, I mean, if yeah. we're looking at those dollars, I don't think it makes yeah. sense to touch that water slide structure myself. I think I don't keep either. what you have there. Uh, Blake doesn't get too many complaints on it. Uh, you know, I think for this 10-year... 10 year fix we're looking at, and those slides are perfect. 
and, and the existing to, ones. So we're okay. to look at this multiple lenses. Yep. So we appreciate it. Taxpayer as, as an operator. I mean, I don't know about the rest of the committee, but I think, you know, we ra I, mean, I would rather see us put a little bit more money in the splash pad component that's open for a longer season and is able to, to really, you know, help with kids of all ages. I mean, parents get the splash pad too. I mean, and, and also, you know, for, for low income and, and just, I mean, it's free. So I think we support the splash pad, I'd rather put, if we have in the budget, the four or 500,000, I'd rather put that in the splash pad stuff. So. Uh, the underwater lights, this is this we talked about just a minute ago. You can, you can go from hours and you can have a plate through the wall on this kind of magnet and only you turn it on, or you can have a red box examined and like it was a center. So, I'm so confused over what we need that for. Is it just like the underground, underwater light? That, so why do you need that? I, I, no, I mean, I, I just, well, what's a function? Um, lights? Safety. Like safety. If you don't have lights, it's dark. Underwater lights. Yes. Yes. So you okay. can see if there's somebody at the bottom. Like even the a swimmy or yeah. midnight swimmer or our night okay. parties. Yeah. Okay, you put it through I mean, I mean uh, yeah. If, if it was. My money, I would try that before I yeah. put the whole uh, yeah. 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 Well, I know that the, the, the lights that are in there, are they considered, I mean, are they've been in there forever. So are they considered efficient enough? Like, are they compliant with the rules of have, having it lit up enough? Is it, I don't think. Is there code? I think so. I mean, I, yeah. I mean, okay. as long as you're able to see, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, certainly code. Mm -hmm. yeah. And just in general terms, when you do have the lights on and they're all working, it lights up when they're well all working to, yeah. to be able to see generally, yeah. but without like knowing with the light. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of a pain to replace. Sometimes we like to look at. That's what I was talking about. I mean, it seems like ours is just well lit from above. I did. And, and on down here, we did have a couple of decks for lights. We upgrade all the lights. Um, could have some budget pricing on that. We, we didn't. Have to. I'm gonna go. Uh, Todd, is, is Mitch going to take over for you? You got it. You, yeah, you better I, go. I, I had five minutes left. Okay. So. Don't miss your kids' no. ball games. Um, the, uh, <laughs> the chase lounges, again, didn't know if that was something that would be okay. Then, um, cage structures. Uh, and we've had a bunch of wire rain on the six car Probably in the nine eighty five to one hundred twenty thousand dollars range installed in foundations. It it depends on um, the diameter of those, but typically what you're going to see under one of those umbrellas is there one large family and then the.
how big you actually want to go. Is there, do they have some standard sizes you can get or you can custom sizes? Those, those rectangular ones are great places to get paid. Now, are we talking about, I mean, we're not talking about removing the ones we have. I mean, because we have great oh, shapes. Yeah. I mean, we, yeah, because we got some really nice yeah. large ones. Now. now, I mean, like underneath of our existing ones, if you want to tear out that concrete and put some turf with the berm or something, yeah, by all means. We're running on down the list. Todd's, Todd's going to get out and catch that baseball yep. game. Thank you, guys. I'll follow up with any questions that might come up. Um, just running on down the list, you know, we, we include that pull deck extension. I think we've referenced 3,500 feet earlier. Perfectly based on what was out there. Uh, that was an important feature, so we included that in, in this. Estimate for the site lighting upgrades, we did not mark it as at this point, but that can be a, a very wide range of costs. cost. That low range can also be fencing, fencing costs in there. Down system that was referenced earlier. around at one point, wide range of what we can do with it. How does it cut these sides up on pipes? By the opportunity to not support on the window upgrades, we understood that the environment was what we did. Costs that we included here. There was the project wasn't happening so soon. Probably wouldn't be painted in budget. So require that. Now, I did have a question real quick. Sorry, Mitch. Uh, on the fencing. So, what is that estimate? Is that covering what? So I, I don't entirely know. Okay. On that front. I would assume that we probably do fencing around the entire area, or was well, I think I think that was the main thing. Is if we're extending out, that's probably going to be new fencing. Okay. So so but not so not the entire existing. Exactly. Okay. Because we had kind of talked as a group that that went on the tours that just switching out that fencing to that black to black fencing it really pops. I mean, really transformed it, the overall area. Um, I mean, a lot. I mean, Neil, we were going to talk about a yeah. lot. That, you know, if, if we can fit that in the budget, that that would actually go a lot, a lot longer than, than we had thought, you know, as far as the almost, appearance of it. I almost think you're going to need all fencing almost anywhere. If you tear out all the north side and then you're adding everything to the south, the only thing you're going to have is the interior. Maybe yeah, yeah. a little bit by the pumps, but I think you're going to have new south, southeast. You're going to have new fence all around this thing anyway, I think. So, yeah. Well, that black fence was really, it was. It was I mean, nice. it's just really clean. Yeah. It's felt really like that black yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Look good. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah. No, we don't need. Yeah. Yeah. No. That high end stuff. Mm -hmm. Instead of doing a replacement pump, don't paint the fence black. You just do a <laughs> little time to ask questions. I'm sorry. Um, instead of doing a, a replacement pump, can you just rebuild the current one? Dave, 
it does look high to me. Yeah. That's that's high deep one. Is the pump what's in the house? And those big blue things are the folders? One of the items are there, yeah. Okay. Uh, the and as long as there's no maintenance, the I mean, there's like issues with maintaining the current one, is there? I mean, it's just old, right? I mean, it's it's up there in years. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it's possible they can be rebuilt from what I understand. Okay. okay. Just, just a question. We generally, we budget five grand a year for a replacement one. I know that's out of line now, but yeah, if anybody's been you know, watching our exhilarating budget meetings, mm -hmm. I know Corey and Blake mm -hmm. understand. Uh, we do budget every year for the three grand dollars. Yeah, at least helps. It it helps does. With, uh, does that roll over every year? No. So are you? <laughs> What's the I point of that? You know the five grand. Because we know it's there in case we need other things. <laughs> then it's not going to cover it. What does it matter? <laughs> it's close. Just, just, just about 15 grand off. That's okay. <laughs> the last couple things on this list is just. Okay. I'm so folders and you can you know five to ten thousand dollars a pop. Okay. It might not be too tier landscaping. You can always change landscaping up really quick then. So in five or seven years you have a new design, you know. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you don't have an art budget in this one. We don't in the city, do we? <laughs> well, 3D print you a little bit of statues. Right. No, he's, apparently, it's he's okay. really good with a spray, right. spray can, good. so, you know, I mean. <laughs> we probably should. What? Well, yes. Yes, we, we should. No, I mean, I think that, um, you know, those types of things, you know, we're really into murals like lost cities and, and stuff. So, I mean, I think that those things can happen after the fact. I think, you know, with the sales tax, let's really focus on, on getting the public what, you know, some of what they wanted. Uh, and the art components and some of those, you know, uh, little details and stuff can, can happen after the fact. Uh, you know, we have a very active, um, you know, really passionate community that has a lot of sponsorship opportunities. And I think those are things that we can address later. I'd rather uh, the sales tax, not of what we're going to bond for, you know, really get the infrastructure side take care of i i didn't see anything with landscaping there i think there really should be if you're going to renovate this and make it look nice you know the natural grasses and you know a few pockets here and there would really add to the the newness so i would like to see that that added somewhere maybe you can incorporate it in with the I'll, I'll split my canvas grass and 
Brain alert. Hey, I got okay. some pamps crashing. Okay, huh? there. I guess my number forty-three <laughs> is landscaping allowance. So okay. <laughs> I got pampas grass. I'm getting rid of. You can have it. I think the quarter million's a little. I'll high. trade you out for the hibiscus bushes you got out there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think we have a plant sale. We do. We the hibiscus bushes and the. Uh, Something the park. The, um, uh, what are those lilies? Those lilies, yeah. you guys. Man, yeah. Yep. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Hibiscus are gorgeous. Mitch, we appreciate you going. <laughs> 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 He's like, yeah, one, one item that I've noticed that's not on there is the pool parking lot. Now, obviously, we don't want to sink thousands of dollars into oh, but something cool. but it is definitely got its issues yeah it's and horrible what no i'm talking about the physical yeah resurface the, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's got yeah. don't get me wrong if you could extend it that'd be fabulous yeah. but resurfacing it's oh it's potholes well should no that, it's going to need is, some attention is that really part of the renovation or is that a, a line item for the city to add to uh, their normal yearly maintenance hey, yeah i see him i see him shaking yeah, i got the wide i'm not disagreeing we see you over here I'm not disagreeing well i mean yeah uh, realistically well, well i mean yeah, yeah I mean, well in, in all reality i mean you know when we looked at doing this project and all the renderings and everything you guys can remember we were removing this part I mean, I mean, this parking yeah. lot was going away, and it was going to be green space, and it's going to be a whole new parking lot. And so, I mean, it kind of goes back to the point of the location. So, you know, then, yeah, we do have to then figure out if we are going to use sales tax money and, and renovating that, or I don't even know what the estimate is. We can we can get an estimate on it and see how much it is, and see if we can take it out of sales tax money that we get from the county for our road projects. So, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, uh, things we can discuss. Because I mean, we spend you know anywhere you know three hundred to you know half a million dollars a year on mill and overlays. So yeah. if, if this you know means though you know choosing between industrial and in front of Andy's place or, or this parking lot, Andy, <laughs> you're gonna pick that call. It'll be the full parking lot. Uh, oh, he says it. <laughs> I got yes. that recorded. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We also talked about pickleball port, uh, uh, ball courts at basketball. Would that be part of this since it's all part of this swimming pool area or? Is this we stay in just the pool structure only? You know, those ones, you know, uh, Blake, weren't you looking at like a snap port or something that would go over the top of the yeah, existing? We at, before okay. we had got this project, we are just looking at overcoat, like covering okay. that. Yeah. It's been it's been brought up. To How me. much was that? Do you remember? Uh, that, that was like four years ago, but it was like fifteen to 16000 Yeah. And so, I mean, like some of those things, yeah, we, we can take it out of our operating or, or some of the capital money uh, that, that's, you know, different funds. Um, but the numbers here, though, I mean, that's why we need to make sure that we're really, you know, if we're looking at what was the low end, Mitch? Eight, 800, 900,000. That's all your budget right there. <clears throat> so, and that's not really including everything that we truly want to put in there. I think Neil has a point. If we're going to add a splash pad to this, you're going to have to upgrade the parking lot if it's going to be used all year long, I think. It's going to have to be. I mean, maybe not this year, but I'd say another two, three years before I get sticks to me. <laughs> but no, um, I can get an estimate on on that from contractors, which um, numbers we want to plug in there or not. And what place. is the number, Brent? We're shooting for as a committee to spend on this million. <laughs> so I got a note here to add the parking lot repairs option. A recommendation of a yeah. Overlay. I'll, I'll give you that number. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I'll take care of that for you because we have the crew in town. And we're about to be in town here this week. Want to get it done next week? If we got the lease, I will be. I 
accepted there, so I appreciate your reading. Yeah. So that would be, yeah, that low one's 850. Or the priorities that are important, only that it's a million dollar budget option, and then I didn't get that the parking lot repair. Mm -hmm. Oh, and now, and now, will you um, either I'll say it on my or you can email me once you get that lines I did or uh, the line added, so then the committee can maybe play with the numbers too, just to kind of Absolutely. see where things. Yeah, I, I got a couple of those notes, and then I updated it online. So. Sorry. So the bottom line here is if we get all the repairs done that are listed. Is this going to extend the life of it five years or two years or 10 years? I know that's, that's an iffy question, but, you know, honestly, you know, if, if it's five years, I think that's great because I think that's really by then we'll have the, the indoor pool or the indoor rec center built and we can kind of see how that's working out. I mean, if we have toys and whatever in there too, you know, it may be that then we want to look at, well, you know, converting this into a splash. Pad. So, I mean, is five years from y'all's estimate, would that pretty much take care of? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. Right. Right. Well, for for us as a committee too, it's like okay if we find out, oh there's much more underneath that we need to work on. Maybe we need to look at, well, how do we extend this to safely to 10 years? You know, if we put a little more money into having to do repairs. So. I mean, I think that's what the big, you know, um, items that we need to look at is, you know, what's going to reduce overall maintenance uh, for, for say staff, but, but also increase the longevity to that 10 year as the top priority items, the guttering and all those things, and then you know, have all the fun, fun stuff, you know, towards the, towards the bottom of the priority list, of course. I would think personally those numbers are fairly high, but I would think you do a lot more. Maybe some art things. <laughs> so, I would also think that if we're looking at only about a 10 year left on this pool, that the like the concrete edging, you know, doing the boulders instead, because they could either be moved or changed, and it was wouldn't be something quite so permanent if we are truly thinking about moving this in 10 years. That do we really want to lock in a, a big chunk of concrete that what are you going to do with it in 10 years? Well, that's why we never have to say, okay, is it going to be converted into parts of it as a splash pad or yeah. not? Because then you do leave those. Yeah, but then yeah. You, you can move, you can move well, you well, still well, But you, yeah, you can well, move the boulders. Yeah, we're you're talking you're about the, the actual, the big old wall of concrete. One question I had, and this is something Brian and I looked at quite a bit when we went and toured the other day, was the 
mechanical room, but specifically the disinfection side. I know that's not necessary. I didn't see if that was included up there, but is that something you guys took a look at? And it's, it's or, on there. It is a, okay. I, it, but it's not checked. Okay. What What is you guys' perspective and thoughts on that? Uh, is it as, really as an operator? Uh huh. I'm not with using a big municipality mm -hmm. location. I'm not a fan of the current system. I just was. Mm -hmm. with adding the cyanuric acid constantly. It mm -hmm. really locks up your chlorine. Yes. So I'm, I'm definitely more of a fan of something that you can add that. You have a little more control, but you can add that as you want to. So I'm a big proponent for that one. I'll defer to Jeff on the budget numbers. You know, look, I, I agree that the uh, estimate should be higher at this stage anyway. So I'm glad to see the numbers are maybe elevated a little bit because it's going to give the public some more cushion for the other issues. Uh, I would I would definitely recommend it, but it's, it's again it's your guys' decision. So, so, so you're talking about good. the chemical and disinfectant systems that yeah. replace. Right. You cool. said yes, do that. It's, it's a recommendation. Well, but, but, I, but I mean that's what would be more preferred. Than using that. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's put those numbers. Yeah. yeah. Inexpensive. So do we need to add that then or not? Yeah, yeah, Mitch, why don't you add add the filter upgrades and the chemical disinfectant system, both of those items. Go down the landscape. Let's 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 put that closer to let's go like uh five to ten thousand dollars. No, no. Fifteen. I'm gonna go five to 10, Fifteen. Yeah, 15, 15 to twenty minutes. Come on, Brent. <laughs> Come on. You're not gonna get more. He said he was giving you pampas. You got a lot. Come on. <laughs> well, well, we do. We do have a lot of beautiful landscape around that area that, that, that can be, be reused. Could be reused. I mean, I mean, there, there is our stuff. Some can. Great some job. can. Is that referring to artificial turf in the landscaping, no. or is that just plants? Just plants and plants. hardscape. Because okay. plants and trees. We got a tree guy. There's a lot of trees down there. Pretty good. There really are. And do we do we make the pool no. and the no. splash pad two different? Systems. I'm not a Brian's brain here, so I don't know how you how it could make it two totally systems. different systems where one runs from March to October, like all the ones in Wichita did, and then the pool runs on another one where it only runs from May to September, whatever it does now. Oh, okay. that's something. Like, yeah, that's something to look at. Uh, we were hoping to use the existing, have the run for the existing for now. Uh, but you're looking at the possibly adding some different stuff. But uh, first, first one is on Yeah. yeah. You okay. can tag stuff that's already there, tag it okay. over, include it. Okay. Turn out. I'm confident we're going to be turning this into something down the road. So I just want to make yeah. sure we'll build for that. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Right, you guys. Huh. So we're we're I think we're kind of getting nitpicky here to the point of we're close enough from what we've determined to be the important things to that one one million. So I would say let you guys do yeah. your magic and see what you can come up with. Well, 
send out this list of rent. And it'd be good just to study these options. But, well, this thing is it's going to be bottom that part of the list. But here we go. That off points there, I can. Provide this information to you, and as we study it, Out of the $16 million project for the rec center, can we not find $200,000 in the new year? What's that? I mean, that's... We, we I, probably could. Yeah, that's why you yeah. kind of focus on, you know, those items that they're kind of have to get ordered and, and those, you know, the, the top part, you know, the guttering, the, the filters. The, you know, you really want to focus on that. And then yeah. while we're designing the new facility and, and trying to figure out, you know, what's all going to be incorporated in that, yeah, there might be some, some wiggle room on... All right. Well, instead of doing this in the new building, yeah, I mean, we'd rather spend two hundred thousand and doing yeah. X or whatever. But, but they have to get a start on kind of. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One thing we have going for us is I think this will help. <laughs> we'll really know these numbers after. Mm -hmm. Is it on there?
That's one of the benefits of using the CMER process for you guys is they're on board with us so we can start doing that earlier than if it's just a standard bid project. So are we looking at like one through six by fall having all that accomplished? Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I think we can get through that early fall. Yeah. Especially with our two week cycle. You know, if we were meeting less frequently, I think that would limit but I think the two week cycle we should be into the have the conceptual design pretty well defined to be able to start thinking about uh, community feedback. Time school starts a little after that. So, you know, we'll, we'll be meeting with Blake's people. We'll probably want to visit a little bit with USD as well in this process. We've got the survey information from the community that I think we'll base this first round effort on and then get their feedback once we get a little ways into it. But that's kind of the steps. And I was going to put a timeline to this, but uh, until we kind of get rolling, I think next time we talk, I'll, I'll try to identify dates and deadlines. We're driven by deadlines. So, you know, in order to really get us moving, we you got to put a date in front of us, yeah. and then all of a sudden, it's amazing how fast we can move. <laughs> yeah, I was saying 1 through 6, August 1st. That'd be for Brian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And actually... If it weren't for summer vacations, we'd probably be moving pretty quick. That would be my biggest challenge is getting everybody together. So now on those site surveys, uh, and we can talk after too, but I just want to make sure that we're on that same page. So are we looking at just a site survey or are you looking at trying to do a, a, a site mass grading plan and potential well, initially we've got or, a survey that okay. defines meets and bounds, defines the grades, defines the utilities including gas line etc uh, and then we did we need to get uh, civil and landscape on board to even do more development and that's what i'm working on right now is getting them on board to help with that and that should be a savoy or alpha or whatever yeah maybe mkc we worked with them some too so we'll, we'll get a couple proposals we're not gonna just hire them You'll, you're, you'll be in the loop on that as soon as we start getting those put together. That's our, our next steps, and Blake's already kind of the probing schedules, so we should know for pretty soon when we can get together and start doing the, the program step. Thanks for getting us through this. Thank you for yeah. the step to get us on track. Mm -hmm. Well, at each step of the way, we have even a better grasp of everybody's feelings about how this should go. And so it helps us as we get back in our conference room and do our stress <laughs> sessions, move to a better solution. So we're getting there. I think that's Unless you have anything else, Matt? No, I'm covering it. Unless you have questions. Hi. We're four minutes short of my 90 minutes. So. <laughs> I just had one general uh, thing to point out that when we went to all these parks, I mean, I'm, I'm in landscaping or have been, and it was all of those 
renovations that we saw on our tour, they were very nicely, you know, not over landscape, but they had landscape, you know, like natural plants and the, this and the other. When we're renovating our existing pool, I don't want us to look like, oh, well, I threw some grass over the corner. Right. You know, I want it to look very nicely done, like what we saw in Wichita, because that's renovation. People will see, oh, well, look at this, you know. They put those boulders up. They put the, the mounds, up, you know. That's going to that's gonna add splash. We're, we're bringing on a landscape okay. architect, but we're going to bring them on not only for the client school, but we think landscaping is critical to your rec facility as well. So okay. we're bringing them in for the whole project. Okay. Well, I just wanted to throw those two cents in. Twenty thousand dollars in. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know those landscape architects don't spend money. I feel that. I'll lose. And I felt that. <laughs> no comment. It's best to wait. Twenty five. <laughs> See you at the end of the day. Um. All right. Well, then we will move right along here in the agenda. That's kind of the agenda. Um. Talk about programming, next step. So open up to general discussion. Is there anything else from him? Go over my 45 minutes, huh, Andy? Yeah, I knew you were going to. I don't know how you were thinking 45 tonight. There's, <laughs> Brian was very helpful on Friday. It opened a lot of our eyes, I think, at went So very helpful, Brian. Very, yeah. very, yeah. very yeah. Good much. Tour. Thanks for that. Thank you very much. It felt a little awkward walking the one splash pad and there's all these <laughs> yeah. and kids and here with all these men. Mm -hmm. Cameras, cameras. Like, <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> yeah, Janet, that happened. Yeah. Oh gosh. Right there. I could just see it right now. <laughs> yeah. um, all right. Anything else? Next meeting. Yeah. Next meeting. Two weeks. Two weeks. Wednesday work still. Six o'clock. Seven would work just as fine as six if people. I like six, that. If that works then for we're people. Done by eight. That's fine. That's just me. I don't hey, care. I don't have church anymore. I don't care. What day is that, guys? Wednesday? 13th. 13th. What time? Six or does seven work? Better. Six is fine. It's not us. Six. I like six because I don't have to cook dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, it is 7.29, so we're on item 8. Motion to adjourn. Second. Moved by Gibson, seconded by Stam. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Have a great night. Thank you all. Appreciate it. That is exactly what my wife would have said, Janet. <laughs> so I don't have to cook dinner. That's right. <laughs> I know some of the other food